made it to Ipoh. This is mine. I've got a towel, a couple of plug sockets. It's all I need really and I can lock the door. So I put my big boy pants on and I've been brave and I'm coming out on my own for a walk. I've just crossed two of the busiest roads you've ever seen and I'm now in Little India. So I've just come in and I've ordered a chicken curry and they bring me a banana leaf. This looks spicy. This looks maybe potato, maybe cabbage. Not sure. Oh, nice. Oh my word, now a whole load of tins have just turned up with so many different things in it. He said, this is chicken, that's fish. This one's spicy. He didn't know what this one was. And this is something, and now I have lemon drink. Trying to do a walking tour of Ippo. I've only walked a short distance from where I'm staying and there's a stream. I have to say, I'm not sure it smells the freshest, but it's very nice. I'm glad I stopped here. Oh, brilliant. I found the Tourist and Information Centre. Let's go and have a little look. So I've decided to do the Ipoh Mural Art Trail, and this is number one behind me. Reminds me a little bit of place on, I think, was it Tasmania? And there was murals on the wall. These are beautifully done. They really are. I've just found the most lovely little patisserie right in the middle of Malaysia. And I'm like, I'm not hungry, but boy, do I fancy something that's not chicken and rice or curry. <laughs> so I've got a chocolate and blueberry spice cake and a passion fruit juice. Oh my goodness, I am so happy. <laughs> it's just like, oh, look at that. I think we're in for a bit of a storm. Let's just hope that I can get back before it comes down. But I'm really enjoying my walk around now. Going on. Oh my goodness, thunder and lightning. And I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. It's about a 10 minute walk back to where I'm staying. Good morning. I've come to a shopping mall and I found Starbucks. <laughs> and it's air conditioned, so I'm gonna walk around here today. I've got a nice caramel latte and a mushroom turnover. And it's not curry, and it's not chicken. <laughs> I found Nando's. There is a KFC, a Pizza Hut, and that is so not like me. But I haven't had Western food for so long and I am just craving it. So Nando's for lunch for me. Goodness, I cannot even tell you how happy I am to see this. I have vegetables. I am just overjoyed. I'm going to really enjoy every mouthful of this. Not long now, about 10 minutes until the train arrives to go to Bustlesworth. Just sat talking to a lovely family from Brighton. Oh, it was so nice to talk to somebody from home. It's been a long time. I've made it. I'm in Georgetown. This is my new hostel and I'm extremely impressed. This is my new dorm room. So it's a six birth female. I've got this bottom bunk here and the lockers are huge. You can fit everything in it. And you've got more than one plug. You've got a light. What more can you want? And I've only booked for two nights and I would like to extend, but they're fully booked. So I've asked them to put my name on a list. So if anyone cancels, I can get in, but we'll just have to wait and see. Right, up the stairs, I think. Reflexology place. Well, that was well worth it. That was 40 ringgit for about an hour and 15 minutes of reflexology. I like Georgetown, Penang very much. Everything just makes sense again here. And it's all quite walkable as well. Dinner has arrived. I'm looking forward to this, I'm starving.
also from here you can see Penang Bridge. And it's a shame it's not a little clearer really. The views across the city from here are absolutely mad. They really are. It's so nice. The temples here are so beautiful. Come up to Panang Hill today. It's really nice, it's not too hot either. I came up in the cable car, which costs 30 ringgit. I think it's 12 if you're a citizen. I came up and I had a little look around and then I went up to one of the temples and a lady stopped me and said, show me your hand, show me your hand. I'm like, no, 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 no. And she took my hand and wow, she's just blown me away. Everything she said was true. She told me that I had three children. That is true. She told me that I went through a really tough time 15 years ago. That is also true. She said that I have worked very hard. I have worked very hard and she says that you are very strong. Ah, I'm not so sure about that. She says that I've got four very close friends and one of which is right there for me at the moment. You know who you are. And I'm not allowed to go swimming for 20 days. And I have to eat tomatoes and put flowers with three colours on the table where I'm staying. I'm not quite sure what that means either. She also said that I'm very independent. Mm, yeah, that's probably true. That right now that I'm very happy. Well, that's probably obvious because I got a smile on my face. <laughs> The lady that read my palm said that I need to drink something green. Yeah, it's Machu something, green tea, but it's, it's not nice. She was right on everything, so I'm not taking any chances. 